Hello, I'm Max McGee. An online threat leads to increased security at a Howard County mosque. The Council on American Islamic Relations says the threat against the Mariam Islamic Center made officials think it was in reference of the mosque massacres in New Zealand. The threat is currently being investigated and the FBI has been notified. Three people are hospitalized after two separate shootings in Baltimore. The first happened just before 5.30 Friday night. Police say a 22-year-old man walked into the hospital and said he'd been shot on Gold Street. Then about a half hour later, police were called to the 2200 block of Christian Street for a shooting. Investigators say two men had been shot. They were both treated at the hospital. Police are asking anyone with information on either shooting to give them a call. Maryland's time in the NCAA tournament is over. The Terps were sent home in the round of 32 following a heartbreaking 69-67 loss to LSU in the final seconds of Saturday's matchup. A win would have sent them to the Sweet 16 for the first time in three years. LSU will move on and face the winner of Minnesota-Michigan State in the 16. Let's get a check of the forecast with Meg McNamara. Meg. Let's do that, Max. So today was gorgeous. Plenty of sunshine. We topped out at 52. However, because of the whipping winds, it did not quite feel like 52. Tonight we'll be down in the low 30s, but hello, low 60s for Sunday. Now, I don't think we're going to see quite as much sunshine as what as what we had today, but you may not mind based on the fact that we are going to be warmer. Monday is a little bit of a hiccup in what is otherwise a fabulous seven day forecast. So Monday, yes, rain is likely, particularly in the afternoon. However, after that, we are looking at solid doses of sunshine, and I don't think it's too early to get excited about next Saturday when we're going to be at 70 degrees. Max? Thanks, Meg. Check in with WJZ tonight at 11 for the update of forecasts and all of today's developing stories. I'm Max McGee. Have a great night.